Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we are going to discuss about the topic transaction type and source. There are various type of transaction type which we need to create in the account receivable module so that we can use this transaction type for further billing and recording the receipt. So the types are invoice. It's a standard one. It's a standard invoice basically created as a transaction type. Then debit memo. It is used to increase the billing of the amount that should have been included in the original invoice. Then the next one is credit memo. It's unjust and opposite of the debit memo. It helps us to reduce the billing of the amount of original invoice. The next transaction type which we need to create in the account receivable is the chargeback. Receivable handles chargeback the same as invoice, but also create an adjustment to reduce the balance of the invoice. Like if I uh, explain in very short, what is the chargeback concept is like for an example, you have amount thousand due for today, but you want to pay half amount only and for rest half balance due for today, you can create a chargeback. So this is the smallest introduction of the chargeback concept and you need to prepare a chargeback transaction type in the AR application. Right now moving further. There is one more concept known as transaction source in which what happens, the transaction type which we are creating, like invoice, debit memo, credit memo, and the chargeback, you can set the numbering for each transaction type with the help of the transaction source in the application. So just moving to the application and uh, we will see how the transaction types are created and how transaction source are given for the transaction type. So moving to the application. Now, after logging to the application, just go to setup and maintenance. Then from task list, go to manage implementation project. You now here search for your project. Then search for the task name is transaction type. Okay, you can see manage transaction type, type is coming here. You just need to click and manage transaction type, go to task. Now, as we need to prepare a new transaction type, so just click on this add icon. Now, it is asking for the transaction type set. It is nothing but the reference data set it is asking for. You can give a common set here, which is already seated by the Oracle, or you can give your own reference data set that like I'm giving here as US1 BU set as a transaction type set here. Then give the name. Name is like I'm creating a invoice transaction type. Fine, then give the transaction class. I'm giving invoice as I'm creating the invoice. Transaction open needs to be open. Start date, it is picking the current date of today. And then the creation sign. It In the transaction type, what happens? It gives the flexibility to choose your sign. Like you can give positive, negative, or any sign as per your requirement. But ideally, we need to give a positive sign here. Then you can give generate bill as yes. Now you can see that any, uh, it is coming as natural application only. You need to enable this box so that you can book the amount as receipt as up to which you have created transaction for it. If you will not uh, enable this uh, box, you can see this allow over application should become activated. So you can enable this also. You can see that when you are Enabling natural application only. Allow over application is faded. And when you are enabling allow application, natural application only is fading. So this is clear that either of the two you need to enable. And ideally, we suggest to enable the natural application only. 
right? Now open receivable and post to ledger. You need to enable this field also. Then here you just need to add your business account. Just click on this add icon. Now give your business unit here minus US one business unit. So I'm giving that business unit here. You can see that uh, when we have given the business unit, ledger is also coming here automatically. Now you need to map all these accounts. So one by one, we are going to give the valid combination here. We are going to search for the account and link all the account here, right? Now, after mapping all the accounts here, just say OK. You can see that under the reference account, all the accounts are coming with the business unit and the ledger which we have mapped. So this is how you can create a transaction type in the instance. We have created invoice as a transaction type. If you want to create debit memo, credit memo or chargeback, it is the same process. Just you need to give a name like if you're creating a debit memo, give it as debit memo or whatever name you want to give. I'm giving you a debit memo and transaction class. You can select it as a debit memo and sign. Ideally, it should be a positive sign only. Rest all the things generate bill. Yes. Yes, rest all the things will be same. You can map the account receivable. Uh, just a second. Okay, so this is how you can create a debit memo and say for the credit memo, give a name for that. And select transaction class as a credit memo. Fine. And for chargeback also, you can just give a name chargeback here. And select a transaction class as a chargeback. So this is how this is how you can create a transaction type in the instance. Fine. And after giving all this information, just save and close. So I will make one transaction type as invoice. And we will see how transaction source can be given for the same. Right. Fine. This is how I created one transaction type as invoice and I have also navigated all the procedure how you can create other transaction type like debit memo, credit memo and chargeback. There is nothing typical in that. You just need to change a transaction class according to your transaction type. Fine. And after that, you can just save and close. OK, just a second. Fine. Now just save and close the transaction type. So this is how you can create a transaction type in the instance. Now we will see how transaction source is given for this invoice transaction type in the instance. Now for creating a transaction source for the transaction type, we will go to the task name as manage transaction source, go to task. Then for creating a new, just click on this add icon. Select your source set. Give a name. Like I'm giving invoice. Source. Give description. 
I am giving the same description as name. Type I'm giving manual as we are manually entering it and date, give it the today's date. Then the standard transaction type. Here you need to give the transaction type which we have created, like we have created one transaction type as invoice. So we are giving here that invoice. So for this invoice transaction type, we are creating the transaction source. Give the transaction number. The column says that last transaction number, but it's a bug in the fusion. We need to give here the number from which it is going to start the numbering. The field name is last transaction number, but it take it as a first transaction number only. Fine. So you need to give the start transaction number only. And this is how you can create a transaction source for the transaction type. Fine, so this is the invoice transaction type which for which we have created transaction source. But in the same manner, you can create a transaction source for the credit memo and debit memo also if you want. What you need to do is create a transaction type like which we have created invoice. In the same manner, you can create a transaction type debit memo and credit memo and link that debit memo credit memo here in the stand, uh, standard transaction type and give a last transaction number here for that time and you can create a transaction source for the other transaction type also by following the same procedure and after creating this just save and close the same fine this is how you have created your transaction type and source in the instance so this was all about the topic thank you